Ci siamo svegliati con la pioggia in Toscana. We woke up to rain in Tuscany. It seeps through the ancient timber shutters and makes puddles on our terracotta floor. I rise early with Gianfranco. Guido gets up during the night if he cries and then sleeps in after 6 a.m. So Gianfranco and I go to have breakfast together and light the fires. Prima la cucina. First the kitchen. They feel gentle and intimate before I check my phone, before the world has woken up. At this point, he'd already had his first course of breakfast. He is a very enthusiastic eater, devouring everything from celery and artichokes to spinach and sea bass. It's such a sacred time of day. I try to make sure I leave my phone up in my bedroom so that he has my full attention and I start my day without even knowing about emails or messages that might cause my mind to be fragmented.
On this day, I went into the village to drop off some library books. eating muffins, drinking tea, looking at the rain falling outside and it's so cozy and it's just oh, the best conditions for being creative. I've been feeling really calm lately and I feel like part of that I can attribute to the fact that Guido and I have been doing therapy. I mentioned this a while ago that we started late last year and uh, it's it's been amazing really because we did it to uh, start thinking about how we're parenting and to provide a really positive model for Jeff Franco seeing as he's starting to talk now and he's, uh, he's certainly understanding everything we say so I'm conscious of the fact that like he's absorbing everything that we're uh, saying to each other or how we're treating each other and so we wanted to really understand how to uh, get better at communicating. We're pretty good in that we don't ever say really cruel things to each other. We don't like yelling, uh, but we can certainly lose our patience like everyone and we can always, I think, be better at um, resolving disagreements. And so we've been doing this uh, at night, uh, 9 p.m. and it's great because then we've had dinner we're relaxed, we've, John Frank was asleep, and we are open to listening to each other and just going through things and also reflecting on the day. I think it's a nice time at night to be able to reflect on, on how your week's been or how your, you know, how, how your month's been. Uh, this video is kindly sponsored by BetterHelp, and that's what they do. They provide online therapy. You just go to their site, you fill out a questionnaire, so you choose what type of therapist you'd like, including like your religion, your background, your issues that you're dealing with. And then usually within 48 hours, they match you with someone. If you don't like that person, you can change at no extra cost. And this uh, month they're giving you guys, uh, my viewers, 10% off your first month. So I'll put the link on the screen and in the description box. And if you want to check that out and see if it's something that might interest you. Uh, for us, it's certainly been a great thing. Uh, with BetterHelp, you can have a call or, or a video call or you can message in between sessions. And, and we've been doing a video call. Um, my, the psychologist I found is not with BetterHelp Week because I started this before they approached me and uh, about this sponsorship. But uh, we're, we're doing this video call and I think we wouldn't go into an office we wouldn't make time for it probably if we were going somewhere in Florence and uh, being able to do it at home uh, in the evening when John Frank is asleep is is just everything uh, for us because it's uh, so hard as many of you know if you have a child to organize uh, getting away and uh, or getting out of the house and, and uh, so yeah that's just something that's been giving me a lot of calm uh, lately. 
cozy weather makes me want to bake even more than usual but as you may know I'm off sugar this month so these are sugar-free banana muffins. Usually I mash the banana first but Gianfranco decided to crack an egg so that's the order we're doing it in. Can you take another egg? Another egg? And crack it? Yeah, crack, crack. Good. Crack, crack, crack. Crack, crack. Crack, crack here. Bang, bang, bang. Good boy. And now we open it. Very soon. Now we get. Mix, mix, mix. Because we won't get any caramel notes from the brown sugar, I like to brown the butter, which is essentially just cooking it until you smell the scent of toasted hazelnuts. This will add a great depth of flavour. Sometimes I do half olive oil and half melted butter. Ripe bananas create a lot of sweetness on their own, but I guess if you're used to store-bought or cafe muffins, these may not be as pleasurable for you. Sugar also creates that lovely golden color on top, so when you make these, they can look a little light even when fully cooked. Mash, good boy, bravissimo, mash, 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 thank you, yeah, you're right, we need to put these away. Mash, you're good. Cinnamon certainly helps with adding the illusion of sweetness. Shake, 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 shake. Good boy! Bravissimo! So more cinnamon? More cinnamon? Good boy! Bravissimo! And close the lid. Close the lid. Good boy. Mm -hmm. Bravo! Bravo! Actually, let's add some more. Let's add some more. I make these muffins without ever measuring. Today I'm trying to be more precise and measure in case some of you want the recipe, but muffins are really best when you learn instinctively how the batter should look and feel because so much depends on the texture and taste you prefer when you bite into a muffin and 
This is just trial and error and hundreds of batches of muffins. If I'd had vanilla, I probably would have added it, but we've run out. I'm fairly rough and rustic, except when baking powder is concerned, because it tends to clump and you don't want a metallic bite of powder when you bite into a muffin. I use whole wheat or wholemeal flour because I love its nutty flavour and dense texture, and it's better for us. You don't need to sift whole wheat flour, but it was just easier with Gianfranco this way. Good boy. And now, mix, 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 mix. Okay, it's not the time for mashing, but that's fine. Yeah, no, no. No. They say the best way to get magnificent muffins is to make sure they're very gently mixed. At this point I can feel the air bubbles and fluffiness of the batter. Should we add some more flour? Yeah. Should we make them chocolate? At this point I needed to add more flour, but instead I decided to add cacao and make them chocolate banana muffins. Definitely only mix this by hand. And try not to delay once you've got the baking powder in. Get them swiftly into their cases and into a preheated oven, uh, about 180 degrees Celsius. At this point, it was John Frankel's lunchtime, so I put him in his chair to eat, and he proceeded to point and direct my batter spooning while he was dining. Another secret to perfect tender muffins is to take them out just before you think they're ready. Sometimes home cooks tend to overcook muffins and then they lose all their moisture and lightness. Thank you for watching and thank you to my patrons who encourage me to continue creating. Alla prossima.